Hi, Scorpio. You need to know this right now for August the 19th through August the 20th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for August the 19th through August the 20th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for August the 19th through August the 20th, 2023. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Scorpio for August the 19th through August the 20th, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Scorpio. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Scorpio, these are your cards, honey. So, Scorpio, you have the Ace of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. And this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this one is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So brand new, passionate beginnings. So Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Scorpio. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Scorpio. Clarify the Ace of Wands for Scorpio. It is clarified with the world. So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. You may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle, to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance, a geographical distance. You can tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world. For Scorpio, clarify the world. For Scorpio, clarify the world. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the Ten of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Something is difficult. Something is heavy. Something feels like a lot of work. Something feels like the weight of the world on your shoulders. Something is a burden here for you. Now, this is a 10, so this is an ending. This is you wanting to release a burden. So, Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that you're having a difficult time. Something is burdensome, and you're just wanting to release it. Now, Scorpio, you guys could have had a passionate, heated discussion or argument, and you were burdened by it, and you're saying, you know what? I'm releasing and closing out this cycle. Scorpio, you can tell me that they started a passionate beginning somewhere else, and you were burdened by it, and you're closing out this cycle. Or Scorpio, are you releasing this burden and starting a new cycle with this person and starting a new passionate beginning here? Coming back around again to one another? Mm -mm. You have the three of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be that is causing you heartbreak. So Scorpio, listen, you're telling me that you're hurt. Now you could be hurt because your feelings are hurt or you're hurt because there's a third party. Clarify the three of swords for Scorpio. Clarify the three of swords. For Scorpio, clarify the three of swords. For Scorpio, it is clarified with the nine of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you saying with, without, or in spite of anyone. I alone in my own right am abundant, self-sufficient, independent, and single. I'm single. 
So Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that you're independently abundant on your own or you're single. Now Scorpio, listen, I hope no one hurts your feelings dealing with your coins or your abundance here. But you can tell me because your feelings were hurt in this argument that you're now single or because they had a third party, they started a passionate new beginning and now you're single. Scorpio, you have the king of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This king is a very charming, charismatic character. Someone who's admired by many. This is a leader, a go-getter, a take charge type of energy. Someone who sets out on many objectives and usually accomplishes them with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. Could be dealing with this Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or someone with fire prominent in their chart. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is someone who initiates, who gets things done and makes things happen with a lot of passion. So you could be dealing with a fire sign or you're wanting to take action here. Clarify the King of Wands for Scorpio. Clarify the King of Wands for Scorpio. Clarify the King of Wands for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Queen of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family. Someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. Could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy, so you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with, or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Two of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is you needing to make a decision, but you're in the dark about some things, some things you just refuse to see, refuse to acknowledge, a lack of information, block communication. So it's hard for you to make an informed decision in this position, but this is also a card of you being closed off, blocked off, not wanting to see, wanting to ignore, wanting to turn a blind eye. So Scorpio, either you're indecisive or you're blocking. Now, Scorpio, someone hurts you, mm -hmm. and you may be blocking them, Scorpio, but I can't escape the fire and earth situation that we had going on for the longest time here, Scorpio, dealing with fire or dealing with earth or dealing with both fire and earth interchangeably. <laughs> Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that you're blocking someone off and releasing a burden and maybe going back around to another person because that fire sign hurts you, so you're going to earth, or that earth sign hurts you, and you're going to fire. Scorpio, you have the fool. Could be dealing with an Aries, but the fool symbolizes to take a leap of faith, take a chance, take a risk, and set out on a brand new journey, to do a brand new thing, sight unseen, just throwing caution to the wind and just doing it. So Scorpio, could be dealing with an Aries, but you can tell me, hey, I just want to up and do something, take this leap of faith, set out on this brand new journey. Or you're telling me that someone took a risk or a chance in you guys' relationship. Clarify the fool for Scorpio. Clarify the fool for Scorpio. Clarify the fool for Scorpio. The king of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This king is a very intelligent, analytical, and logical king. He only wants to deal with the truth, the facts, and the proof of the matter. So this is about truthful communication, and this is about making a decision. So Scorpio could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this king of swords, coming forth with truthful communication, or making a decision. Mm -hmm. Clarify the king of swords. For Scorpio, clarify the King of Swords. For Scorpio, clarify the King of Swords. For Scorpio, it is clarified with you, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, the King of Cups. This king is a very loving, kind, compassionate king. He's fair and balanced in his emotions, 
but he does not wear his emotions on his sleeve. He's in complete control of his emotions. So Scorpio, this is you. Clarify the King of Cups for Scorpio. Clarify the King of Cups for Scorpio. What about Scorpio? What about Scorpio? Clarify the King of Cups for Scorpio. It is clarified with the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner in a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or message of it. So Scorpio, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or a commitment here. Clarify the page of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the page of pentacles for Scorpio. Clarify the page of pentacles for Scorpio. It is clarified with the two of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. Now, this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So, Scorpio, listen, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling is taking place here. Now, Scorpio, hmm. You can tell me that they took a risk or a chance in you guys' as a relationship juggling. And so you're making a decision here, Scorpio. You're closing out a cycle with this person. Mm -hmm. But Scorpio, I want to know if you're making a decision concerning accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date with someone new. You're debating on whether or not you should up and do this. <clears throat> And I feel like because you're hurt by somebody here, fire or earth, Scorpio, mm -hmm, that you're ready to uh, just go out, release this burden, close out this cycle and start a new cycle with someone over here, Scorpio, you know, mm -hmm. and I have to bring air into the mix here too, Scorpio, Scorpio, <laughs> what? King of Swords again. So you could be dealing with this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, you could be taking on the energy of this King of Swords. Coming forth with truthful communication or making a decision. Clarify the King of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the King of Swords for Scorpio. Clarify the King of Swords for Scorpio. It is clarified. Oh, yeah, you're doing it with somebody. <laughs> Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces, this is we are reunited and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on. So Scorpio, listen, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. Now, Scorpio, listen, I feel like you're making a decision because there was a third party situation here, Scorpio. So you're making a decision because there was a third party situation. But I also feel like you're making a decision to reunite with someone. I feel like you want to just up and do something. You were invited out. You were debating. You're making a decision to reunite with someone. You're releasing this burden and closing out a cycle because they started a passion in the beginning somewhere else. So you're releasing this burden and closing out the cycle and starting a passion in the beginning with, let me see, any, many, many, mo over here, Scorpio. <laughs> I don't know. Air is prominent. Let's see. I'm going to take a look at the Hidden Truth Oracle for you, Scorpio. I think that you're tired of fire and earth, but I feel like you keep going between fire and earth all the time, Scorpio. But there's a new sheriff in town, okay? I want to feel that way again. Ooh. I want to feel that way again. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm going to take a look at the Lover's Oracle for you, Scorpio. 
Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Secret admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Okay. And I want to feel that way again. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Someone who was just, just chilling, laying back in the cut while you was dealing with fire and earth this whole time, Scorpio. Like I said, it's a new sheriff in town. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Scorpio, you need to know this right now for August the 19th through August the 20th, 2023. You guys, give me feedback. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Maj, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.